Hey friends, this is Amit Mulani. I am here in Hong Kong with the Hong Kong International Jewellery Show. Right now, I am at the stall of Giloy Diamond and Jewels, and uh, Mr. Alexander Giloy is the owner of this stall. Hi, how are you? Hello. Sir? Hi. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Same for here, sir. Same Thanks. Here. Uh, Mr. Alexander, first of all, tell me about your company establishment year and in which product category you are dealing in. So basically, our company is uh, from Germany in Edelbachstein, formed by our grandfather in the, uh, 1931. Huh. And our father turned it from diamond cutting to diamond manufacturing. Okay. So basically, our uh, majority jewelry pieces are diamond settings, a diamond hmm. uh, pavé setting for as well. For example, this one, the large uh, pavé ring in the, in the upper, it's three carats. Um, um, white uh, flawless diamonds and basically all those um, pieces are the centerpieces of, my, of our father as well as the mm. big uh, chains and necklaces uh, in diamonds as well. But I can see these are the beautiful jewellery you are crafting mm -hmm. and um, I, I, I just uh, seeing this that uh, uh, your father has started this company. Yes. Uh, and A grandfather. You, you, said yeah. That, yeah. you said that this has been uh, manufactured by him only. Yes. Yep. Perfect. So. Um, I want to uh, tell you about the Gilo Diamond and Gel that uh, specifically this company from the Germany uh, we can generally identify that what kind of the beautiful jewellery they are manufacturing what is the precision inside the jewellery actually they are procuring the diamonds from uh, Antwerp and Antwerp. some part of the India yeah, and this, this different kind of the countries where, where can yeah. you can source the diamonds yes? yes exactly Mr. Alexander one more thing I want to ask you that uh, in future, how mm -hmm. you are seeing that Germany uh, diamond and jewellery manufacturing will grow with all over the world market as per market requirement? So they, basically Germany is well known for handcrafted and traditional and made in Germany is getting mm -hmm. is still a big, big issue in the world. Mm -hmm. So in our future we see that uh, German uh, manufacturers uh, basically, those who are manufacturing in Germany um, will um, go worldwide and well yep, known in, uh, in the world. So, right now, your company exporting in how many markets? Um, basically, we are majority in the European market and the German-speaking market. Um, okay. And now, last year, we bought another uh, company in Switzerland, and now mm -hmm. we have more customers for, uh, for example, in the US, mm -hmm. in the UK, and also in Asia as well. Uh, can I ask you that mm -hmm. um, which are the uh, your your uh, channel of uh, selling these particular products by yeah. B2C by B2B or your customers? Ma uh, majority to B2B. B2B. Okay. Um, we are, um, for in Germany we work with um, jewelers, mm -hmm. um, uh, big chains, um, mm -hmm. as well as uh, loan work for big companies. Mm -hmm. uh, we sell those things so for B2B on cruises and online markets mm -hmm. and big warehouses as well. Perfect. Uh, one more thing, Alexander, I just want to ask you that specifically when I'm talking about the diamonds mm -hmm. and setting of the diamonds, it is saying that uh, most of the expertise inside the India and the kind of the market like Thailand, etc. Yeah. So how you are seeing a differentiate between the Far East countries diamond setting and, and the European markets diamond setting? So basically, like I already said, my father um, turned uh, the company from mm. diamond cutting to diamond manufacturing. Mm. And since 1931, we are only manufacturing in uh, Idovash and so in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, the, because he, his, his idea was to, to just to push the made in Germany and the German mm. handcraft. Mm. So basically, at the Germ in Germany, in our production, we have at the moment 300 employees. And right now? Right now, yes. More than 300 employees. 300 that's employees. Too good yeah, that's because it, it Germany in Ida Oberschwender, for, for example, is very known for cutting. Hmm. So, cutting gemstones, and um, from this uh, market, we say, okay, hmm. when we go to the market, then we go with the made in Germany and hmm. uh, German handcraft. Absolutely. Then I can say that if you are from the European region, then yeah. your company is a perfect, yeah. uh, we can say, of perfect course. in area. Yeah. If someone want to order the products, kind of the products, sure. then they can connect yeah. you. Uh, Alexander, last but not least question. Mm -hmm. How's the experience about the Hong Kong exhibition? Yeah. Uh, and I, I think you are participating since last 10 years. Yes, it's 10 yeah, years. So yeah. it is worth to go? Um, so basically, for, for the Europeans, um, from the last two years before COVID, there was mm. the Basel World as well. So basically, in, Germany, ah. in Europe, we have a big exhibition as well. Mm. But after the closing of the Basel World, it's only two or three major exhibitions, exhibitions in, like in, yeah. in uh, Europe. So basically, we have the Innocenta, we have the Vicenza show. Mm. But more and more, the, the Asian markets, the other markets, or the JCK, so basically, the two mm. big international jewelry fairs for the Europeans will be in Hong Kong or in JCK.
Absolutely perfect. Yeah. That's that's truly said. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Alexander. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm wishing lots of luck to you. Thank in you. In future, you grow in a many countries and you export your products into the India also. Yep. From where you're sourcing <laughs> your diamonds and etc. Perfect. Thank you once again. Thank you very much. And have a great luck. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Amit Milani and team, India's best export import business trainers.